friends, welcome back to Code Generator in C++ programming tutorial. Here I am once again, Harshita Chhata. Hope you all are doing fine and staying at your home. So, our today's agenda is to write a program which displays the Fibonacci series of n term. I know that for most of you, the term Fibonacci series is new. So, let me just quickly tell you what Fibonacci series are. So, here I am. Uh, I have written the definition of Fibonacci series here. So, the Fibonacci series are the series where the next term is a sum of previous two terms and the first two terms are fixed here 0 and 1. So, it is a first term 0, it is fixed. After that, 1. Okay, 0 is followed by 1. After that, the definition says here is the uh, Fibonacci series are the series where the next term is a sum of previous two terms. So, next term is 1. It is a sum of previous two terms, 0 plus 1, which gives us 1. Then next term is the sum of previous two terms, then 1 plus 1 gives us 2. Then 1 plus 2 gives us 3. Then 2 plus 3 gives us 5 and this will continue till n terms, okay? So, let's not waste another minute and quickly write our programs. I have included the header files and I am starting writing my program by declaring the variables int n t1 is the first term of the Fibonacci series which will be 0 then 2 t2 will be the second term which will be always 1 then we will take one variable next term which we will initialize to 0 here ok after that see out enter the number of terms enter the number of terms then c in n all right then uh, c out to make it user friendly i am writing it the fibo naki series okay then we will run a for loop here in i which will start from 1 then i is less than equal to n then plus plus i okay uh, after that, if i equal equals to 1, then the first term will be c out what t1. Then we want commas. Alright. Then we will run a continue. We will write a continue here. I want you guys in the comment section to tell me what continue statement means. Okay. I want... I want uh, you guys to comment this in the comment section that what continue means. Then i equal equals to 2. The second term will be 1. So here we will write print t2. Then again we want commas here. Then again we will write continue statement here. And if you guys don't know what this continue statement means then also let me know in the comment section. So that I can make a video on what continue statement means. And you all guys will be benefited from it only. Okay. Then next term equals to sum of previous two terms t1 plus t2. Then t1 equals to t2. After that t2 equals to t2 equals to next term. Then we will see out the next term here. See out next term. Again we want commas to make it user friendly. Then this loop will get finished and here we will write get ch. Now let's run our program and see that if it gives us correct output or not. Alright. Okay. Here is an error. Yeah. Here it was comma. My bad. Oh, uh, now let's again try to execute it. Okay, okay, it will work, it will work. Yeah, so I want 6, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. We got 6 terms and uh, the next term is the sum of first two terms. 0 plus 1 gives us 1, then 1 plus 1 gives us 2, then 1 plus 2 gives us 3, then 2 plus 3 gives us 5 and so on. All right. Hope you guys understood what Fibonacci series are and if you have any doubt or question regarding 
the Fibonacci series or continue statement, you can ask your questions on our Instagram handle or on you can or you can mail your questions uh, on the given mail ID or you can ask your question in the comment section. I'm surely reply. I'll surely reply to your comments and we are here to help you only. And if you want us to upload more programming videos, then then please like our videos and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.